This is Burkina Faso, a small country that is building one of West Africa's biggest energy networks. Under the new president, Ibrahim Traore, Burkina Faso is creating magic. Welcome back to the channel, where we break down the world's most ambitious and game-changing projects. Today, we're zooming in on Burkina Faso, one of Africa's most determined nations, as it undertakes a bold mission to change its energy destiny. From massive hydropower to cutting-edge solar and even nuclear collaboration, this is not just about electricity, it's about empowerment. If you're passionate about development, progress, and how big ideas reshape real lives, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. Burkina Faso may not often make global headlines, but what it's doing right now could set a powerful example for the rest of Africa. Like many countries in the region, Burkina Faso has struggled for decades with unreliable power and limited energy access. In fact, less than 20% of people living in rural areas have regular access to electricity. That means schools can't function properly, health centers can't store vaccines, and businesses can't operate efficiently. But change is on the horizon. At the center of this transformation is the North Core Interconnection Project, a groundbreaking regional initiative with the potential to redefine West Africa's energy landscape. Spanning over 913 kilometers, this high-voltage transmission line will connect Nigeria, Niger, Benin, and Burkina Faso, creating an integrated power grid that enables electricity to flow freely across borders. Here's why that's a game-changer. Energy costs in Burkina Faso are among the highest in Africa. This project could cut those costs by as much as 40%, according to the West African Power Pool, WAP. That's not just a statistic, that's life-changing for families who currently rely on expensive diesel generators or have no power at all. And it's not just about affordability. The interconnection project is expected to provide electricity to over 1 million people who currently live in energy poverty. Picture that, a million people who will soon be able to turn on lights, power refrigerators, and charge phones for the first time in their lives. The broader vision here is bold, to make Burkina Faso a regional energy hub, not just a consumer of electricity, but a contributor to regional energy stability. This initiative is part of a growing movement across Africa toward cross-border energy cooperation, where countries share resources, stabilize supply, and reduce dependency on expensive fossil fuels. But electricity alone isn't enough. It needs to be clean, reliable, and sustainable. That's where hydropower comes in. The Samandeni Dam. At the heart of Burkina Faso's energy plan lies one of its most ambitious undertakings to date the Samandeni Dam. Located in the country's southwest, this dam isn't just another water. Reservoir, it's a multi-purpose, multi-benefit powerhouse. With a total investment of $145 million, Samandeni is more than just a dam. It represents a renewed national strategy to revive 35 major dams across the country that have either been neglected or damaged by climate change. Many of these existing structures have suffered from silting, weak maintenance, and extreme weather conditions. Without intervention, some were at risk of collapse. The Samandeni Dam is being positioned as the flagship model for what the future of water and energy infrastructure should look like. First, it's a source of hydroelectric power, with the capacity to generate a stable and eco-friendly electricity supply to feed into the national and regional grid. But that's only part of the story. The dam also supports irrigation and agriculture in a region where farming is the backbone of the local economy. With improved irrigation, farmers can produce more crops year-round, increasing food security and household income. In a country where over 80% of people depend on agriculture, that's a huge deal. Additionally, the dam plays a vital role in flood control, particularly during the rainy season when heavy storms can destroy homes, crops, and infrastructure. By regulating water flow, the dam protects vulnerable communities and helps preserve farmlands and ecosystems. Let's also not forget the environmental angle. Unlike fossil fuel plants, hydroelectric dams produce virtually no carbon emissions once operational. They also create local job opportunities, engineers, construction workers, maintenance crews, and provide long-term benefits for surrounding towns. This kind of project doesn't just power homes. It powers development, education, healthcare, and opportunity. But the story doesn't stop at water. Burkina Faso is thinking even bigger. Diversifying energy sources. Dot solar and nuclear initiatives. Burkina. 
Faso understands that no single source of energy can meet the rising demands of a growing nation. That's why it's investing in a diverse energy portfolio, and solar is taking center stage. Enter the Zagtuli Solar Power Plant, located just outside the capital, Ouagadougou. This facility is not only the largest solar power plant in West, Africa, but it also symbolizes the country's commitment to a cleaner, greener future. With a capacity of 33 megawatts, Zagtuli provides enough energy to power tens of thousands of homes and has significantly reduced reliance on costly imported fuel. But here's the impressive part. Zagtuli is scalable. The government has plans to expand its capacity and replicate its model in other parts of the country. Combined with off-grid solar solutions being introduced in remote villages, this strategy ensures even the most isolated communities can access power. Still, the future doesn't stop at solar. In a bold and surprising move, Burkina Faso has partnered with Russia to explore nuclear energy. Yes, nuclear. This cooperation aims to develop a nuclear power plant that could deliver stable baseload. Power, the kind of electricity that runs 24-7 and supports industrial growth. While still in early stages, the partnership reflects the government's long-term vision to leap from energy deficit to energy independence and eventually energy exportation. Burkina Faso's energy strategy is not just about fixing today's problems. It's about building a resilient, modern, and self-sufficient energy system that future generations can rely on. Energy access. Access to electricity goes far beyond lighting homes. It empowers small businesses, supports health clinics, enables modern education, and reduces poverty. In Burkina Faso, the absence of reliable electricity has long limited the potential of rural communities. But with the rollout of these new hydroelectric, solar, and transmission projects, millions are gaining access to dependable energy for the first time. Imagine what it means for a student in a remote village to finally study at night using a proper light, or for a farmer to power irrigation systems that boost yields, or for healthcare workers to refrigerate medicines reliably. These are the life-changing impacts of energy access, and Burkina Faso is laying the groundwork for a brighter future by focusing not just on power generation, but on equitable energy distribution. The North Core project is particularly powerful in this regard. As a regional grid, it helps rural Burkina Faso tap into power from Nigeria and other connected countries. This isn't just national development, it's a regional network of empowerment, helping bridge inequality gaps across borders. Samandeni, more than just a dam. Let's take a deeper look at the Samandeni Dam, which is more than a hydroelectric structure. Located in the western region near Bobo Diolasso, it's part of the larger Bagre and Compianga Basin water projects. Samandini was designed with multiple benefits in mind, electricity generation, water storage, irrigation, and environmental protection. The dam covers an area of over 15,000 hectares and can hold approximately 1 billion cubic meters of water. This makes it not only vital for power generation, but also for agricultural transformation. With modern irrigation systems powered by the dam, farmers in the surrounding region are experiencing increased food production, better harvest stability, and improved incomes. This project reflects an important strategy, integrated development. By combining energy, agriculture, and water security in one project, the government is creating a model of sustainability that can be replicated across West Africa. Additionally, the government has launched plans to reforest areas around the dam, minimizing erosion, preserving biodiversity, and protecting water quality. The Samandini Dam is proof that with the right vision, infrastructure can serve people and the planet simultaneously. Solar Power Now, let's talk solar. Burkina Faso is one of the sunniest countries on Earth, making it a perfect place for solar energy development. The Zagtuli Solar Plant, located just outside the capital Ouagadougou, is a game changer. Built with support from the European Union and the French Development Agency, this 33-megawatt solar farm supplies electricity to over 660,000 homes. And that's just the beginning. The government, in collaboration with international partners like the World Bank and Power Africa, is rolling out more solar initiatives in rural communities. Projects like the Yelin Rural Electrification Program are bringing solar microgrids to areas that have never had electricity before. Why does this matter? Solar energy is clean, scalable, and cost-effective. 
it allows Burkina Faso to bypass some of the heavy infrastructure costs associated with traditional energy systems. More importantly, it gives communities energy independence and strengthens climate resilience. Solar is not a side option in Burkina Faso's energy future. It's central. With proper investment, the country could become a regional solar energy leader, exporting surplus electricity to neighbors and creating thousands of green jobs in the process. The nuclear leap. Now, here's a twist you might not expect. Nuclear energy. In 2023, Burkina Faso signed a historic agreement with Russia's Rosatom to explore the construction of a nuclear power plant. This marks a major strategic shift and one that many are watching closely. If successful, it would make Burkina Faso the first Francophone West African country to harness nuclear energy. Why nuclear? Because it provides massive, stable, carbon-free electricity, ideal for supporting industrial development and powering entire cities. And in a world where climate change and energy insecurity go hand in hand, nuclear offers a long-term hedge against volatility in fossil fuel markets and hydroelectric fluctuations due to drought. Of course, nuclear development comes with challenges, costs, security, waste management, and technical know-how. But if managed properly with international oversight and public transparency, it could be the anchor that secures Burkina Faso's energy future for decades to come. Regional integration. Let's zoom out again. Burkina Faso isn't acting alone. The country is an active member of the West African Power Pool, WAP, an ambitious initiative by the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, to integrate national electricity systems into a single regional grid. This means electricity generated in Nigeria can power homes in Burkina Faso. Energy produced from Ghana's hydro dams can stabilize demand in Mali. And as more countries invest in renewables and efficient infrastructure, the region gets stronger together. Burkina Faso's interconnection projects, like the Gao Niame Ouagadougou Transmission Corridor, are key to this shared vision. And by improving regional access and harmonizing standards, WAP is creating a marketplace where energy is cheaper, more reliable, and less prone to political shocks. This integration is not only about wires and substations, it's about regional stability shared economic prosperity, and climate resilience. Burkina Faso's role in this system is helping to stitch together a more connected, powerful West Africa, overcoming the hurdles. No transformation comes without hurdles. Despite all the progress, Burkina Faso still faces significant challenges. First, there's political instability. The country has seen multiple coups in recent years, which makes long-term planning and investment difficult. International investors often hesitate to commit funds when the political environment is uncertain. Second, there's the issue of infrastructure maintenance and management. Building a dam or solar farm is one thing. Maintaining it is another. Many African nations struggle with the ongoing costs and technical expertise required to keep infrastructure running efficiently. Without strong institutional support, these investments can quickly lose value. Third, there's climate risk. Hydropower depends heavily on rainfall, and droughts are becoming more frequent in the Sahel region. Solar is more resilient, but even, it faces limitations like dust accumulation on panels, which reduces efficiency over time. And finally, there's the challenge of affordability. Even with cheaper power generation, the costs of connecting rural areas, laying cables, building substations, and training technicians remain high. Government subsidies and international aid will play a crucial role in closing this access gap. Looking ahead, still, the future looks hopeful. Burkina Faso is now at the forefront of Africa's clean energy transition. Its approach is multidimensional, mixing hydro, solar, regional collaboration, and nuclear innovation. And it's grounded in a deep understanding of how energy access transforms lives. As new projects roll out, we can expect to see a sharp rise in rural electrification rates, expansion of solar microgrids in underserved areas, progress on nuclear feasibility studies, strengthened ties with ECOWAS partners through WAPP, increased foreign investment, particularly in renewable infrastructure and training programs. If yes, these plans are carried through with transparency, resilience, and international collaboration, Burkina Faso could become a model for energy transformation in Africa. This isn't just about watts and megawatts, it's about economic independence, human dignity, and the power to shape one's destiny.
Burkina Faso is writing a new chapter, and the world is watching. Burkina Faso's energy revolution is a story of ambition, resilience, and innovation. From dams and solar farms to regional power grids and potential nuclear plants, the country is proving that even the most landlocked, resource-strapped nations can lead the charge toward a brighter future. This transformation will take time, investment, and global support. But the blueprint is there. And if successful, Burkina Faso could not only power its own future, but also help light up all of West Africa. Thanks for watching. If you found this story inspiring and informative, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into Africa's biggest transformations. Stay curious, stay empowered.